Hi guys, and uh, welcome to something just a little bit different today. I'm going to be doing a quick look and a partial review uh, of the Alpicool portable fridge and freezer. So the thing with this is it can be used either as a fridge or as a freezer. It's so easy to use and for anybody that's got a caravan or does car camping or takes a family away in tents or just going out for a day's picnic in the summer or something it's going to be absolutely ideal so full disclosure this was actually sent to me by the lovely people at alpico they asked me uh, they sent me an email asking me would i care to review it they'd seen my channel and uh, i said yeah because it is something that we would actually use for the caravan uh, so I'll go through a few things with you and I'll show you how it all works. So what you get when it arrives, it comes in a well uh, packaged, rather large box. And uh, it comes with another little box inside, which has your mains adapter in it with a UK plug on the end and your user manual telling you everything that you need to know inside there how to operate it and everything you can actually take the lid off this as well if you wanted to for cleaning and whatnot uh, and it tells you your, your troubleshooting what your ideal temperatures are excuse me it's getting a bit windy what your ideal temperatures are for uh, either freezing or refrigerating different uh, different projects. Yeah, so the unit that I've been sent is the NL40. The years, another, there's three of these refrigerators, free refrigerators, freezers in the range, and that is the NL30, the NL40, which I have here, and the NL50. They're both, they're all supplied with a mains adapter, and which I'm using here is the car vault. 12 volt adapter which simply plugs into the unit at the bottom there this is a compressor unit now the nl30 is actually 26.8 liters or 0.95 cubic feet the nl40 the model that they've kindly sent me is 35.3 liters or 1.25 cubic feet and the nl50 which is going to be a beast is 43.6 liters which is 1.5 cubic feet. So there we go. The dimensions of this one that they've sent me is uh, 24 and 5 16 inches long. It's 14 and 13 16 wide, and it's 17.38 inches high. There you go. Right, so... What I do with this, which I find the best bet if you're going to pop this in the car, you know, if you're going off for a trip or everything, is to pre-cool it down at home on the mains, which I've done. Uh, and I'll show you the inside. So we'll just lift the lid here. I'll pull it forward slightly. It's only, it's very easy to move around. So inside, just for demonstration purposes, just so you can see the side, that's a one litre bottle of water man it is cold in there we've got a deep pan deep pan pizza plus another pizza and that's cavernous i mean i've got this on the freezer setting at the moment you can see there look it's already frosting up and it's got a drain plug at the bottom there for cleaning so when you clean it out you can take that out or drain any frozen as you defrost it it's also got an ideal little shelf here that you can pop things onto uh, like I say, you can t take this lid off by turning it, tilting that up and lifting the lid off. But it's made of a very durable, sturdy, hard plastic. Like I said, this is a compressor freezer refrigerator. It's got grab handles at either end, so you can easily lift this and turn it like such. It's also what I like about this, a lovely feature. It's got a USB charging port there as well. 
with its own little rubber cap so you can charge your phones, mobile devices, anything you need to charge off a USB, this unit can do it. So in the bottom, there's the compressor with its air vents around it. That's where you plug, you plug into. I'm just going to put you in the shade so you can actually see, hopefully, see this display. And I'll show you how the unit's actually switched on and off. So to switch the unit on, it's pretty intuitive. You've basically got your power on, power off button there. So if you press and hold that, up the display comes. Hopefully, I'm hoping you can see that. So this is the temperature, minus 12 is the temperature inside of the cooler box at the moment. And it's telling you there that it's 13.4 volts. It's drawn from the car battery at the moment. Sorry, the car battery is 13.4 volts. These are as well, amazingly, you can set these uh, to safety levels. I've got it on high at the moment, which means that the car battery is only allowed to drop to about 11.4 something, and then the unit will switch off. But the good thing about this as well is once the unit reaches its ideal temperature that you set it at, it'll actually switch itself off. Uh, and it'll, and then once the unit drops, or sorry, temperature raises by two degrees, it'll switch itself back on and kick in and start uh, doing it again. And to set the temperatures, it's as easy as just pressing these buttons here. So down to minus 18, 17, 16. So it's, it'll go all the way, just go all the way to minus 20. There you go, minus 20. Or you can take it all the way back up. I think it goes to plus 20. So the unit's now just switched itself off. But obviously, if you're using this as a cooler, you would never want it at 20. So if I set this back down again, you'll see. Twelve. I'm hoping you so can still back. see this. So also with this, uh, this is so easy. You've got a max mode, which will cool it down really quickly. Or you've got an eco mode, and to change that, you've got your set. Excuse me, your setting button here, which you just press and hold. Your max will flash. Press it again. There you go, and it changes it across to eco. So obviously with the eco mode, you're going to use less power. It will take slightly longer to get down to temperature, but it will get down to temperature. So that's on eco, and then to switch it back. There we go, and we're back on max again. Yeah, and there is some other settings that you can go into that will change the voltage cutoff point. So if your battery you're using goes down to a certain voltage, like I say, you can you can change that. But yeah, it's fantastic. So our thing with this is we're going to use it at the caravan. So we're going to take it away. We stuff it in it because the lead you get, the twelve volt lead, is quite long as well, uh, which is a good length. So what we're going to do is we'll actually plug it into the mains at the caravan when we get there, and but on <laughs> and have it inside of the awning. But on the way down to the campsite, the caravan site. We can fill this up in the car, get it plugged in, and if we've got a load of frozen stuff, we'll just have it inside that, and we'll know then that it's going to be still frozen when we get there and nice and fresh. So, yeah, absolutely brilliant bit of kit. So it is a compressor, uh, and they do make a little bit of noise, but this is pretty quiet. When you first start it up, there's a little bit of noise, but as soon as the compressor starts running, which you get with all compressor uh, units. It really does quieten down. It's not silent, but it's only like a slight little hum. I don't even think you can hear it at the moment. I'll put the mic next to it. So I'll take the mic off and I'll put it next to it. I'll switch the, I'll switch the noise cancellation off. And listen to this. Can you hear anything? No, you can't, can you? It's fantastic. It's very, very quiet. There we go. 
no bother at all to lift up and get in. We'll just thought I'd show you this guy. So I've literally just done the 10 minute drive from where I was parked up earlier uh, back to my home. And it, I think it was reading minus seven when we left. So in 10 minutes, that's gone down to temperature to minus 12. That's on the uh, max setting, so fantastic. So what I will do as well, obviously, I don't know if you can see me there. What I'll do as well, I'll leave a link down below in the description to um, Alpicool's website and you can go check the prices out and everything there because the prices vary and they'll have made out of offers on and whatnot. So yeah, I'll just leave the link down below. But I believe that the NL40 and the LL range are the new range, so they might not be up on the site yet. But uh, go down and have a look and check out the site. Let's say they do various other types of uh, fridge freezers, freezers and fridges and coolers. So definitely have a worth having a look and see find one that'll suit your needs. Right guys, that's it from me and the the Alpi Cool uh, fridge stroke freezer. Fantastic bit of kit for us. I've had it for a week now, and I've had it on in the front room on the mains, and I've tried all sorts of different things, freezing bottles of water down things like that and it's worked perfectly i've made ice cubes in it which is fantastic so great stuff i mean even if you wanted this for days out on picnics pop it in your car with your beers or you're going to go overnight or you've got a big tent family tent or just on your own on a campsite and you're going for any length of time or whatever I mean, time's irrelevant isn't it really if you wanted to take cold stuff with you this is ideal and keep it cold while you're traveling to the site brilliant so i want to thank the people from alpico for kindly sending this out to me to have a little review. They didn't tell me to say anything. They've, uh, when, in fact, the first email they sent me said, would you be interested in reviewing this for us, Mick? Uh, we'd like a completely unbiased review. I said, well, yeah, if that's the case, of course I will. So, yeah, but it's going to come in really handy for the caravan. And it will be in future videos when we're away caravan, so keep an eye out for it, and I'll let you know it's getting on. So, that's it from me. So, please... If you found this video informative, give us a like and subscribe, really helps. And if you aren't subscribed, you know you mean the well to me, so you're all gorgeous, lovely people. So thanks very much for taking the time to watch this. Love you all loads. Until next time, bye for now. Mwah!